today on MTG Unpacked, it's time to take a look at another Commander 2020 deck. This time it's Timeless Wisdom. So you can see we get a large oversized card there. Let's check this out. Join the fray, choose your commander and carve your path to victory in this unique multiplayer magic format. So it's one of the most popular magic formats. Team up with Gabby to cycle through your deck and find the perfect tools for every situation until you can fuel a massive game winning turn. And I'm looking forward to checking out that uh, Sky Shark there. And so what do we get here? A deck box, 100 card deck with 17 new cards, 10 double sided token cards. We had a foil oversized commander card which we saw there. A life will, that's a new addition. Strategy insert and reference card. So let's get stuck into it. So this one is in the Jeskai color combo. Let's get in here. So that is blue, red, and white. And you can see we've got the deck and everything in here. So let's check this out. We've got a flyer. Here's the life will. So I think it goes up to 40, which may or may not be terribly useful depending on what sort of deck you're running. If you've got life gain, you may be out of luck. And then in here we have the deck. You'll notice this thing uh, can only hold a unsleeved deck. So if you've got a sleeved deck, it won't fit, unfortunately. Uh, if you missed the previous video, we've taken a look at the Arcane Maelstrom deck already. And I'll get that card out eventually. Um, I'll pop a link up in the corner there to the complete Commander deck playlist. So you should be able to find it there. Let's crank the lighting a tad. Okay, we have Gabby Nest Warden, legendary creature, human shaman. It's a mythic. Two, five, four, five mana. You may pay zero rather than pay the cycling cost of the first card you cycle each turn. Nice. Whenever you draw your second card each turn, create a two, two red and white dinosaur cat creature token. Okay, that's a little strange. Alright, pop that down there. Uh, this deck went for like $39.99, although the price is uh, spiking quite a bit. There seems to be a shortage of these decks. So what do we get here? Playing the deck. So it lets you do something every Magic player loves. Draw lots and lots of cards. Yes, indeed. We've also got a, a couple of other legendary creatures. Akim the Soaring Wind. Uh, Brelin Sky Shark Rider, okay, Shabra's the Sky Shark. And then a bit about, let's check this out, Commander Rules. So it's a 100 card singleton format. So you can pause that, check it out. And a bit of an ad there for Ikoria, which we've opened a ton of on the channel. Here is Gavi Nest Warden. Akim the Soaring Wind, what is that, a flying dinosaur thing? Bralin, Sky Shark Rider, and Shabraz the Sky Shark. Okay, they have more than jumped the shark. They are flying with sharks now. So let's get into this thing and check it out. And I think the packaging is a little bit oversized. I would have liked to have seen something more like the Brawl decks, but I understand with those giant cards, it's a little bit tough. So let's separate out the mana base. Okay, so we've got that stuff. Um, they like to stick the lands in the middle here, oftentimes. Okay, so there's some mana, and sometimes they'll have a little more. Let's move that aside. Okay, that ought to do it. So we'll take a look at the legendary creatures here, and then some tokens. Okay, we got a regular size version, Gabby Nest Warden. Very cool. And then next up we have Akim the Soaring Wind, a legendary creature, bird dinosaur, three, four, for five. With flying, whenever you create one or more tokens for the first time each turn, create a one on white bird creature token with flying. Nice. For three blue, red, and white creature tokens you control, gain double strike until end of turn. Okay. So you're going to generate a lot of tokens here. We get a Mythic, Brelin's Sky Shark Rider, Legendary Creature, Human Shaman, 3-3-4-4, three, three, four, four. partner with Shabraz the Sky Shark. Whenever you discard a card, put a plus one plus one counter on Brelin's Sky Shark Rider and it deals one damage to each opponent. You pay red, target, shark gains, trample until end of turn. I swear they're trying to make shark tribal a thing with this deck. 
Here he is, Shabraz the Sky Shark, legendary creature, shark bird, really? Okay. 3-3 three, three for 5, partner with Brelin, Sky Shark Rider has flying. Whenever you draw a card, put a plus 1 plus 1 canter on Shabraz the Sky Shark and you gain 1 life. And for either a white or blue target, human gains flying until end of turn. Yes, because they hop on the back of the shark, that is hilarious. Okay, so here we have a very cute dinosaur cat token. What is on the back here? Just a 1-1 one, one bird, alright. Dinosaur cat bird. So I'm guessing you're going to be cranking these things out like nobody's business. Okay, we get a spirit 1-1 one, one with flying treasure on the other side. Soldier 1-1. One, one. Oh, that's pretty cool. Elemental. 4-4 four, four elemental token. Get a 3-1 elemental. And an angel. 4-4. Four, four. Okay, lots of flyers. Other... And a Kraken, what the heck? 8-8 eight, eight, Kraken, Insect 1-1, one, one. I'm guessing this is the one with the Locust God in it. We'll have to see. 2-2 two, two, Drake, Human Soldier 1-1, one, one. and a Drake. Okay, so I'm liking the look of this already. Anything with a flying shark looks fun. But let's take a quick squiz at the mana base here. Okay, so we've got some non-basic lands and basic. So we've got an Ash Baron's Tap for Colors Mana. Has basic land cycling one. So pay one, discard this land, search your library for basic land card reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Azorius Chancery. So one of these tap lands, you can return a land you control to its owner's hand, tapping for white or blue. Boros Garrison. So that's red and white. Command Tower. This is like a staple in most commander decks. You can tap to add one manner of any color in your commander's color identity. Desert of the Fervent, so another tap land. You can tap it for red, cycle it for one and a red, okay. Yes, okay, so blue, so tapping and cycling. So we need a ton of cycling here. Same thing, Desert of the True for white. Drifting Meadow, another cycle card for white. Forgotten Cave, cycle card for red. We get a, uh, is it boiler works? So it enters tapped when it enters battlefield, return land you control to its owner's hand. Tap it for blue and red. Lonely sandbar, another cycling land for blue. Myriad landscape, add colorless mana, enters tapped of course, pay two, sack it. Search library for it to do basic land cards that share a land type, put them onto the battlefield tap and shuffle your library. Mystic Monastery enters the battlefield tapped. You can tap it for blue, red, or white. Reliquary Tower, it's a land. You have no maximum hand size. Fantastic. Tap it for colorless mana. Remote Isle, another cycle land for blue, enters tapped. Cycle land, Secluded Step for white. Smoldering Crater, cycle land for red. Temple of the False God, tap it. Add two colorless mana, activate its ability only if you control five or more lands. And then basics, five islands, three mountains. Okay, so I'm sure there'll be a few more tucked at the back there. Exotic orchard, add one mana of any color that a land and opponent controls could produce. Hostile desert, tap it for colorless mana. So pay two exile land card from your graveyard. Hostile desert becomes a three, four. Elemental creature until end of turn, it's still a land. I like that ability and that's a cool piece of artwork. Irrigated farmland, another cycle land here for white or blue. Prairie stream, enters battlefield tap now to control two or more basic lands, white or blue. Shivan reef for blue and red. So you can tap to add colorless mana or add blue or red, it deals one damage to you. Skyclad Expanse, pay one tap, add white and blue. And then we get some more mountains, so three more mountains and four more planes. All right, fantastic. So that is the mana base. Let's get into the deck proper here. So it looks like they start off with a ton of rares. We have a Cryptic Trilobite, 0, zero for X and X. And Spurtifield with X plus one plus one counters on it. Remove a plus one plus one counter from Cryptic Trilobite. Get to add two colors mana, spend this mana only to activate abilities and pay one tap. Put a plus one plus one counter on Cryptic Trilobite. One thing I will say, you could upgrade this deck. Um, there's a lot of cycle lands there. You want to look for things that don't require entering the battlefield tapped. 
so that can slow you down a fair bit. Another rare dismantling wave, sorcery for three. For each opponent, destroy up to one target artifact or enchantment that player controls. Cycle for six and two white. Uh, when you cycle dismantling wave, destroy all artifacts and enchantments. Herald of the Forgotten Creature Cat Beast. Very majestic beast indeed. 6648 with flying when it enters battlefield. If you cast it, return any number of target permanent cards with cycling abilities from your graveyard to the battlefield. That seems pretty insane. Crystalline Resonance, enchantment for three. So whenever you cycle a card, you may have Crystalline Resonance become a copy of another target permanent until your next turn, except it has this ability. Ethereal Forager, so this is a creature elemental whale, 3-3 three, three for 6, with Delve, so each card you exile from your graveyard while casting a spell pays for 1. As flying, whenever it attacks, you may return an instant or sorcery card exiled with Ethereal Forager to its owner's hand. Fierce Guardianship, instant for 3. If you control a commander, you may cast a spell without paying its mana cost. Nice still counter target non creature spell agitator ant. What is this creature insect 2 2 for 3 at the beginning of your end step? Each player may put two plus one plus one counters on a creature they control. Go to each creature that had counters put on it this way. So until your next turn, those creatures attack each combat if able and attack a player other than you if able. Ooh, this is pretty cool. I'm a bit of a fan of the phoenixes. Spell Pyre, Phoenix, 4-2 for 5 with flying, so when it enters battlefield, you may return target instant or sorcery card with a cycling ability from your graveyard to your hand at the beginning of each end step. If you cycle two more cards this turn, return Spell Pyre, Phoenix from your graveyard to your hand. So I'm wondering if this is one of the new cards, because there's a lot of cycling stuff here I don't remember seeing before. So let's see what's next. Surly Badgersaur. What creature badger dinosaur? Okay, 3-3 three, three for 4. Whenever you discard a creature card, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it. Whenever you discard a land card, create a treasure token. Uh, whenever you discard a non-creature, non-land card, Surly Badgersaur fights up to one target creature you don't control. Loving the crazy creatures in this set. Sort of ties in with Ikoria. Next up, Acroma's Vengeance, Sorcery for 6. Destroy all artifacts, creatures and enchantments, so you can cycle it for 3. Astral Drift, enchantment for three, so whenever you cycle Astral Drift or cycle another card while Astral Drift is on the battlefield, you may exile target creature. If you do return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step, so I've seen that one before. Okay, more cycling, what a surprise. Decree of Justice, sorcery for X, X, two, and two white, create X, four, four white, angel creature tokens with flying, nice. Cycle it for two and white. When you cycle Decree of Justice, you may pay X if you do create X 1-1 one, one White Soldier Creature Tokens. And a Mythic Descend Upon the Sinful Sorcery for 6. Exile All Creatures. That is pretty cool. Delirium. Create a 4 for White Angel Creature Token Flying if there are 4 or more card types among type cards in your graveyard. Okay. Next up, Eternal Dragon, Creature Dragon, Spirit 5-5 five, five for 7 with flying, pay 3 and 2 white, return it from your graveyard to your hand, activate this ability only during your upkeep. And it also has this plane cycling for 2, so what is that, 2, discard, discard, switch your library for planes, card reveal it, put it into your hand and shuffle your library. Okay, and you can always bring it back with one of those other cards from the graveyard. Hoofprints of the Stag, Tribal Enchantment, Elemental for 2. Whenever you draw a card, you may put a hoof print counter on the hoof prints of the stag, pay two and white, remove four hoof print counters from hoof prints of the stag. It's a mouthful. Create a four for white elemental creature token with flying at visibility only during your turn. Another mythic Sun Titan creature giant 6646 with vigilance. Whenever it enters the battlefield or attacks, you may return target permanent card with command mana cost three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Oh, this guy. He is in all of those um, Chaos Mystery Boxes, apparently. Curator of Mysteries. Creature Sphinx 4-4 four, four, for 4 mana with flying. Whenever you cycle or discard another card, scry one. Cycle him for blue. Drake Haven. Enchantment for three. Whenever you cycle or discard a card, you may pay one if you do credit to two. Blue Drake Creature Token with flying. So you're going to just keep cranking out tokens, cycling things. Looking for what you need. Seems like a good deal. Enchantment for six. 
When new perspectives enter the battlefield, draw three cards. As long as you have seven or more cards in hand, you may pay zero rather than pay cycling costs. And there was that other card where you have no maximum hand size, so that would work well with that. Nimble Obstructionist, Creature Bird Wizard, 3-1 for 3 with Flash and Flying, cycle it for 2 and a blue. When it, you cycle Nimble Obstructionist, counter target activated or a triggered ability you don't control. Next up we have a Portal Mage, Creature Human Wizard, 2-2 two, two for 3 with Flash. So when it enters the battlefield during the Declare Attacker step, you may reselect which player or Planeswalker target attacking creature is attacking. Oh, I like that ability. And a Mythic, and it's Chandra, Flame Caller. I'm calling it now, this is probably my favorite deck so far, but we've only looked at two, so maybe another one will catch my fancy. Legendary Planeswalker, Chandra, four loyalty for six, so plus one, create two, three, one, red elemental creature tokens with haste exile them at the beginning of the next end step for zero, discard all the cards in your hand, then draw that many cards, plus one, who minus X deals X damage to each creature. Craziness. I do like the mono red aggro deck, so hence my soft spot here for all the red cards. Tectonic Reformation Enchantment for two, each land card in your hand has cycling for a red, cycle for two. Isperia Supreme Judge, it's a mythic. Legendary Creature Sphinx 6446 mana with flying. Whenever a creature attacks you or a planeswalker you control, you may draw a card. <laughs> Look at this guy, Mercurial Chemist. Creature Human Wizard 2 3 for 5. Pay a blue tap, draw two cards. Or pay a red tap, discard a card. You get to deal damage to target creature equal to the discarded card's converted mana cost. And never miss it, the Firemind Legendary Creature Dragon Wizard 4 4 for 6 with flying. So whenever you draw a card, Niv Mizzet, the Fire Mound, deals 1 damage, 20 target, tap, draw a card. And here it is, I was hoping to see this one, based on those insect tokens, the Locust God. Legendary Creature God, 4-4 four, four for 6, it's a Mythic. With flying, whenever you draw a card, create a 1-1 one, one blue and red insect creature token with flying and haste. So for 2 and a blue and red, just draw a card, then discard a card. And when the Locust God dies, return it to its owner's hand at the beginning of the next end step. That was the fun thing about the Armanket Gods. Um, some of them just keep coming back. Abandoned Sarcophagus, an artifact for three. You may cast spells that have a cycling ability from your graveyard. If a card that has a cycling ability would be put into your graveyard from anywhere and it wasn't cycled, exile it instead. Alright, so we are getting some Armanket things that uh, had cycling in that set. So that's... Interesting. Fluctuator. Artifact for two. Cycling abilities you activate costs up to two less to activate. Psychosis Crawler. Artifact creature horror. Star star for five. What? Its power and toughness are each equal to the number of cards in your hand. Okay, so no maximum hand size. Sounds fun. Whenever you draw a card, each opponent loses one life. Okay, so that's that first half. So looking pretty tasty so far. So those were all like rares or mythics. So next up we have Bonders Ornament. I think we saw this in the previous deck. Artifact for three, tap to add one mana of any color. Pay four, tap each player who controls permanent name. Bonders Ornament draws a card. Arcane Signet, artifact for two, tap to add one mana of any color in your commander's color identity. So those ones are pretty much auto includes because they're colorless. Azoria Signet, artifact for two, pay one tap, add white and blue to your mana pool. Borrow Signet, same deal for red and white. Commander's Sphere, artifact for three, tap to add one mana of any color in your commander's color identity. You can sack it, draw a card, so this one you'll see that in a lot of decks as well. Is it Signet? So an artifact for two, so you can pay one tap, add blue and red. Soul Ring! What is a commander deck without Soul Ring? Artifact for one, tap to add two colorless mana. Auto include right there. Rogren Crystal, artifact for three, so you can tap to add blue, red or white, cycle it for two. Um, I think that's, yeah, that's one of the new Ikoria Triome lands. Or not a land, a crystal. You can tap for all that mana. Valiant Rescuer. Creature Human Soldier 3 1 for 2. So, whenever you cycle another card for the first time each turn, create a 1 1 White Soldier Human Soldier Creature Token. Cycle it for 2. Boon of the Wish Giver. Sorcery for 6. 
Draw four cards, cycle for one. Neutralize, counter target spell, cycle it for two. You might notice the symbol there, there's a lot of Ikoria cards here. Ominous Seas, enchantment for two. Whenever you draw a card, put a foreshadow counter on Ominous Seas. Here we go. Remove eight foreshadow counters from Ominous Seas. Create an eight eight blue kraken creature token. Fantastic. Cycle it for two. Reconnaissance mission. Enchantment for four. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card. Cycle it for two. Okay, so tons of Ikoria cards in this deck. Rooting Moloch, creature, lizard, 4-4-4-5. Four, 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 so when it's battlefield exile target card with the cycling ability from your graveyard until the end of your next turn, you may play that card. Cycling for two. Savai Thundermane, creature, elemental cat, 3-2 two for two. Whenever, yeah, whenever you cycle a card, you may pay two. When you do Savai Thundermane, deals two damage to target creature and you gain two life. Okay, Zenith Flare, instant for four, deals X damage to any target, and you gain X life, where X is the number of cards with a cycling ability in your graveyard. So you're going to have tons in there, so that should be a easy ability there. Martial Impetus, Enchantment Aura for three, Enchant Creature, Enchanted Creature gets plus one, plus one, and is goaded. It attacks each combat if able, and attacks player other than you if able. And whenever enchanted creature attacks, each other creature that's attacking one of your opponents gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. Psychic Impetus. Okay, so we've got a couple of different Impetus cards here. Enchantment Aura for three. Enchant Creature. Enchanted Creature gets plus two, plus two, and is goaded. Whenever enchanted creature attacks, you scry two. Shiny Impetus. We saw this in the previous deck. So Enchantment Aura for three. Enchant Creature. Enchanted Creature gets plus two, plus two, and is goaded. And whenever enchanted creature attacks, you create a treasure token. Uh, this one brings back memories. Caster enchantment for four with flash. When it ends battlefield deck, so target non land permanent and opponent controls until cast out leaves. Battlefield cycle up for a white. Spirit can enchantment for three. Whenever a player discards a card, you may pay white if you do create a 1 1 white spirit creature token with flying. Okay, something else from either Armanked or uh, Hour of Dev, I'm not sure which. Hieroglyphic Illumination Instant for four. Draw two cards, cycle it for a blue. Vizier of Tumbling Sands. Creature, Human Cleric, one, three for three. Tap, untap another target permanent. You can cycle it for one and a blue. When you cycle Vizier of Tumbling Sands, untap target permanent. Windfall, Sorcery for three. Each player discards a hand and draws cards equal to the greatest number of cards a player discarded this way. Lightning Rift, enchantment for two. Whenever a player circles a card, you may pay one. If you do, Lightning Rift deals two damage to any target. All right, getting close to the end here. Slice and Dice, Sorcery for six. Deals four damage to each creature. Cycle up for two and a red. When you cycle Slice and Dice, you may have it deal one damage to each creature. Migratory Route, Sorcery for five. Create four 1-1 one, one white bird creature tokens with flying and it has this basic land cycling for two. So we saw that earlier and that is it. A little bit about the popular magic formats. Which one is your favorite format? Leave a note in the comments. So I am pretty impressed with this deck. I actually think it looks better than the earlier one we did. Uh, we looked at Arcane Maelstrom last time. Um, so this, I'm liking the cycling ability. You can bring stuff back from the graveyard. Um, of course, flying sharks are a thing, people. Uh, you've got a lot of flying creatures. And yeah, looks like a fun deck. Lots of tokens, of course. So let me know in the comments section what you think about this deck. Is this something you'd be planning to pick up? Or maybe you've got your eye on one of the others. And stay tuned. We have three more commander decks to go at the time of this filming. So it could be quite a few more hours yet to wait. But... If you're watching this later, you can check out the Commander playlist, which I showed earlier in the video. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. I hope everyone out there is staying safe and healthy. Thanks for watching and have a great day.